Hi, Angela here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in to watch another video. If you're new here, my name is Angela. I lost 200 pounds, fell in love with running, and now I'm trying to live the healthiest life I possibly can while being a mom. I'm in much need of a planning video because I kind of feel like I went through a February funk and everyone else kind of did too, if that makes sense. I, just watching everybody else's like videos and everything, everybody just feels a little down in February. And I think that's because we get really amped up about January and we're going to start doing things and moving and shaking and doing all that. And then February comes and then that's when the new year really sets in, you know, we get overexcited February, but for me, I didn't get overexcited. I didn't get over ambitious. I just got really, really busy and I just, it's just time for me to get back on track. I've been putting things off to the last minute, probably due to um, poor planning. And I just want to kind of alleviate some of that stress, especially during a busier time in life. And so I'm in much need of a planning video. So that is what I'm going to be doing today gonna tell you how I plan, what goes on my planner, kind of all those things. Now, if you think that I'm gonna sit here and do like a fancy planning video with like the stickers and all that stuff, it's not gonna happen. So you can just go ahead and Excel. This is strictly about how I plan to stay productive in the month of March. My reading goals, what books I'm gonna read, and the stuff that goes on my calendar, how I schedule and all of that. So that's what this video is gonna be about. So I got out of the habit of doing like the to-do list and all that, which is something that I completely live for, but I just haven't been doing it. And it kind of really did make me feel very chaotic because like I knew stuff was coming, but then I wasn't planning correctly to get stuff done. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, look, I made a little list of everything that I'm going to talk about and I never ever do that in videos. Um, so what goes into planning each month? I have my main work calendar which is the nine to five and all of that. So I do that completely on like a digital level because it's easier for me to send it to other people and all that. So I have my trusty iPad right here and that's where I'll be doing all of that um, stuff. And then I also have a household calendar, which I do put in my paper planner. And then I also have another one by the fridge that I need to get, which I should have done that before I started the video so that I could show it to you. And that just puts all of our household stuff on there. And then if it's something that needs reminders, then I'll put it in our digital cam um, calendar so that um, everyone can get a hold of that. And then I have my content calendar, which I do write in my paper calendar. And these are like brand deal deadlines, which, you know, I don't have that many, but you know, I have enough. I have um, things like metrics I have to hit for those um, deals throughout the month. So I need to make sure that I write that down on the calendar so I'm not late, which is something that I was severely lacking in, um, fe in February. So I need to do that. And then I use my paper calendar and co-schedule to plan out my post and do all that stuff and just put like idea dump down there. And then um, I have my daily and weekly to-do list in my paper calendar, which Right now, I've kind of already started doing it. Here's my weekly spread. And then I have daily time mapping right here that um, and to-do list. I kind of wish that this had a weekly spread in it too, but you can't really get a monthly and a daily, a weekly, monthly, and daily type planner. So this one was already split into two planners. So. Um, and then I have my race calendar, which I put mostly on the household calendar, but you know, that's very important so that everyone knows when I'm racing in the early mornings. And then I also have, this is sad, I have my F1 calendar, which puts all of the races in there, the practices, the qualifying and what time so that I know when I need to be up early or in some cases when I need to stay up later. So those are all things that I put in my calendar uh, with my um for the household and everything so we are going to get started with the planning let's do this 
Okay, so I don't really know where to get started, but these are my basic planner tools here. I have some washi tape. I, I picked out like um, these little things of washi tape right here. And I use these Tombow um, markers and I have like a set of colorful pens. Usually I just kind of pick a theme and um, just go for it. So obviously this month, is going to be this color scheme right here. I feel like I use this color scheme a lot, but you know, it's spring and things are about to start changing. Time change is coming soon, so that's something that you need to mark on your calendar. And uh, yeah, so that's how I go about my planning. So right now I'm just gonna start on this um, main page right here, which just has um, March, 2022. And I guess it's just a little dashboard. You can make it whatever you want it to be. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna put um I'm gonna put books I wanna read on here, books to read. It's easier when I do my books so that once I finish a book I already know the next book to jump into. I don't really know if I should use this green because the page is actually green to read and then at the top here I'm gonna do like um, my focus goals focus goals um, so my focus goals I got out of um, wanting to read like I had a goal of setting to read um, every day for 20 minutes so I'm definitely gonna put that back on here read um, I also want to edit videos in advance because I've been waiting to like the day that they're due to um, edit them and that's not good and I need to plan out my social media posts even so that they go automatic because I'm slacking on some brand stuff and I want to get better sleep so and the books that I'm gonna read I kind of already wrote these down um let's see i already bought one book so and it's a two-part book so um i guess i'm gonna end up reading both of those finley donovan is killing it and finley donovan knock them dead so some other, and then I'm gonna do um, some priorities right here. Priorities, I want to open up my new Cricut and learn how to use it. Open, yeah, I bought a Cricut Maker, not, I didn't buy the Cricut Maker, I bought the new Cricut 3, and I wanna go ahead and open that up and um, learn how to use it, make some planner stickers. I actually had high expectations of using my planner stickers in this video, but I didn't because it's still not open. All right, so that's all I have so far. And then there's like another box down here, which I don't need. So we're gonna move into, I actually feel like that I need to um, do my work calendar first so that um, that's a little easier for me to plan out. And then that's more on the urgent side right now. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I just finished doing my schedule for um, work, which that was pretty easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do like, what is this? Looks like an apple pen. I'm gonna go ahead and do um, this little monthly, wherever it is. Okay, I can do this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my monthly since I already kind of already have stuff written in here i was doing like an overhead shot but that's just not really working right now so i'm just gonna go in and put in <laughs> i think it's really funny that i'm about to schedule in some f1 stuff 
But um, yeah, I literally wrote down all the races, the testing and all that stuff. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the calendar so that it is here. Look, it's already color coded and everything. I feel like it should be red, but whenever I put um, stuff in red on my calendar, I always feel like that that should be urgent and F1 is not always urgent. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that right now. I go in with red and do like all the bills that's that's one that's very important man I don't know if it's the pressure of having this but I've made a lot of mistakes on my calendar but um yeah I'm gonna go ahead and make it look pretty decent if I can get the tape off which I'm not sure that I can oh no washi tape is always so hard but it makes it look pretty so sometimes we just have to make things look pretty right so i'm gonna go ahead throw some washi across the top i don't have any scissors right here my bad let me go get some scissors all right Use. anyway so I just I mean this is not necessary I just like to put the washi on here to make it look cute and you know make makes you happy when you open up your planner spread it takes a little bit of time and obviously I don't always have this time every month to do this but I'm trying to build some better systems this month and um, that means sometimes taking the time to make things a little bit more happy and that's just what I'm doing right now. I don't really know if I should do that and then sometimes it becomes very like overwhelming with the washi and I just because you want it to look pretty, but it, that's not the real important thing. <laughs> so, it's about priorities and what you have time for. And I understand that most people are not going to put washi tape on their stuff. That kind of um, takes up a lot of space that I could use to write something, but it is what it is. Okay, so now we are going to move on to tomorrow and we'll just start filling, filling this out. Like I said, I kind of wish that I had a weekly um, spread, but it's okay. So have no fear, all of my F1 stuff is written in here. Um, I know that we're all worried about that Tuesday. So I need to edit my planning video. And so basically I'm just gonna go through and write in all of the important stuff that I know that I need to, um, I need to do for the week. Ugh, I am really tearing up the planner by making Okay. Yeah, I'm making a lot of mistakes and I think that's because I'm recording this. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put like my workouts in here. I have, um, I sat down and I did like a rough thing of everything on like paper. So then I'm just, tra I'm just transferring it in here. I know this is not, um, very exciting, but so. Like I said, I'm going to do put all I put all of my household stuff and bills 
bills, family events, appointments, and other household things on the monthly spread so that I can see that. I've already put my work schedule into my digital file and I've shared that with everybody that I need to do that with. And then um, I need to put in here when I'm going to do, that's something that needs to go on my monthly spread. Um, post, I need to make sure that I am getting my brand post out when they're supposed to be, when they need to go out. And so I'm gonna go back to my monthly spread and I'm gonna do that. And I guess, I don't like mixing my colors, but there are only so many colors that go. Now I'm just going in and um, I'm putting my workouts in um, and doing some time blocking on my day today. Time blocking is not really something that I use because I just, I'm all about getting the task done, but um, I am trying to see how long it takes me to do like specific tasks so that I can better know how um, I'm spending my time. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just filling in the blanks. And I also need to fill in my free beverages from Duncan. Yes, my priorities are on point. It was just a way for me to get back on track to show you, look, um, my video. My planner actually looks pretty full. So that's pretty amazing that I have that much stuff to do, but I haven't really done, I need to put like my content planning in here. So that's, Every day I just go in I have a little empty slot right here and I just put in what my workout is I just go check what my coach has planned for me and then I just put it in there and then I already know that that's very important for me to get it done and obviously on every to-do list for the week I'm gonna put 20 minutes of reading I've actually been watching too much TV when I could be reading, but um, it's very hard for me to read at night because my eyes are already so tired and whatever. So it's just easier to watch TV. I've, I've watched it all. Love is Blind. I've watched every... I haven't watched all the Star Wars, but I'm absolutely obsessed. Like, we didn't already know that. And... Um, you know, I'll always find something to watch. Mrs. Maisel, I need to get started on that. If you're watching that, comment down below. Um, I started watching it and then I cut it off because it just wasn't like grabbing me like it used to. And now all these other shows are starting. Um, F1 Drive to Survive is coming to Netflix. I already wrote it down in my calendar, as you already know. So like, there's always going to be something to watch, but I need to make sure that I'm getting my 20 minutes, 20 minutes of reading. And I probably need to do my stretching too, because I got off of that. So those are just some of my monthly goals. And that's why it's good to sit down with your planner, because then it gets you in like that mindset of getting things done and the things that you want to accomplish, because like you don't want to look back at the end of the month and be like, oh, well, I could have done this, but I didn't. And, you know, so what is it they say if you plan to fail or if you don't plan I, I don't know what is it let me see that's what it is if you fail to plan then you plan to fail and that's just I kind of feel like that that's true I get off of my systems and I talked about it in my last video about atomic habits and all that and why I did fall behind it's because I stopped implementing my systems and I just wasn't doing well so that's why it's very important for me to sit down and get my planning done and it's a little bit stressful because I'm trying to film it and it's not really like a visual thing, but I'm just trying to talk you through like my processes of how I have a paper calendar. I have my digital calendar for work and I have a digital content calendar. And I usually just use these to-do lists to make sure that I'm getting 
those things done. So like if it's on the calendar, then what is it that needs to be done to get that checked off or done and completed? So that's usually what I use my to-do list for. And I'm just a very visual person, so I need to see that. But I also need the reminders from a digital calendar to remind me when stuff is coming up. So it's always nice because I'm not constantly looking at my planner, but I am constantly looking at my phone or my iPad. And just to, so I'm always setting up the alerts to remind me like the week before or the day before so that I just don't forget to do those things. But my secret to success is doing the to-do list. I would rather put too much on my to-do list than not enough at all, but Willie says that that's crazy because my to-do lists are really, really long, but most of the time that's the stuff that I have to do. And um, that's just, you know, stuff just has to get done. So between actually running a small business, trying to do my content creation, having family and other things and then doing things that I want for myself I do find myself being a little busy it gets a little chaotic and that's so I kind of just need to organize it all and I know everybody's got their own thing I'm not special I don't do more than anyone else or whatever it's just about how we manage our time so I do recommend that you sit down get your planner find out what works for you digital planning paper planning, whatever. I use the Erin Condren planner right here. I got the little Star Wars thing on it. Um, I'll link it down below along with my markers. Um, the Tombow markers I usually just use for like my to-do list. So when I'm done, then I just mark it off in a pretty color. It makes me feel happy. That's very, very important to me. Like I said, I have these colorful pens because I use Color just makes me happy. It's it's the best part of everything. And um, yeah, so that's me planning and getting my life together. You know, this video was like a little bit different and it's not gonna be something that I do all the time, but my planning is like a very huge part of me. And I just wanted to share that with everyone. So comment down below if you are a paper planner or a digital planner or nothing at all, just fly by the seat of your pants. If you are one of those people, I wish I could be like you. I'm too uptight. But yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.